Welcome back to Animated Simcom, Sitcom Land King, The Simpsons Game. As we finally, or get, hopefully, can get further into this Let's Play. Because this is part four. God, last time I did this, was back in, did this game was back in July. Holy crap, it's been quite a while. Last time we left off with um, saving Lenny Carl... Lenny and Carl, and in turn, basically destroying the power plant. Crap, that's a practice file. I would say that was a practice file, everybody. <laughs> So let's actually jump into the Simpsons game. <laughs> when you open your practice file. Spoiler alert. So last time we checked on we unlocked Marge. So we can use bus stops by pressing the triangle button, move around Springfield. Which, if you really think about it, if trying to use another game that released in 2007 that had some equivalent, you know, compared to, let's say, Super Mario Galaxy, for example, this is basically the equivalent to the Launch Star. So we're going to change character to Marge as our main, which um, let's mess around with some of her basic attacks. We gotta go down to the sequel stop. So, again, X is jump. You have to be, you know, with the I have an IQ point of five. Did not figure that out. So far, we don't really have much in the way of attacks open for Bart or for Marge. But what she can do is what you'll figure out in a few moments is uh, basically rally cr crowds together to, um, or mobs. And uh, by the way, Marge's attack that you know of so far is um, basically punching by pressing square. And the main gimmick too is, especially with uh, Maggie, If you um, if you're in a small space, which you'll find in this next level, here, in this next level, you can actually put Maggie in and have it crawl around. And what is essentially is a kind of a really cool feature, in my opinion, as we pick up this coupon. If we find a bunch of these in an episode, we can unlock trophies. We're going to beat the crap out of this uh, inbred hick. Hillary Clinton would be proud because we're beating up a deplorable. We beat up a deplorable, everybody. So we're going to go ahead and give this to Lisa. There's Bart. And, uh, okay, we're stuck back here. Jesus. So, I'm just going to probably go find, see if I can find a quick way out of here as we're walking around. And uh, walking by the Springfield Police Station, which, like Simpsons Hit and Run, I forgot to mention this in previous episodes, this is like Simpsons Hit and Run. In that game, you can actually enter pretty much every building in the game or in Springfield and you can do the same thing here but you can't you know you can't walk into Chubb Med and you know beat up people working out or 
You can't walk into the adult education center or something like that. Anyways, let's go to mob rules. Please, God, Ned Flanders, just stop talking. <laughs> so, Marge's gimmick is you press circle to bring out her megaphone or whatever button is set for your version of the game. And then press circle to recruit nearby people. And we unlocked invisible cliche. Press L1 and essentially what you can do is it's kind of like a weird Pikmin type thing. You can command a bunch of people to do whatever you want. Um, like, see right here, we're going to try to command Krabappel and Dr. Hartman to destroy this. As uh, Martin Prince tries uh, committing suicide by crashing into a sequel stop. And uh, meanwhile, let's see what Lisa can do. We can pick things up for her. We got to get up to the thing of the hand of Buddha. Oh, uh, hello. What stains? This this should probably be considered child abuse because I just beat the crap out of Martin Prince. Gotta find more people to join. Wait. Hold up. See if we can round up Lenny and Carl. So we're gonna get Miss Lisa here. We get it, Ned. You're Christian. I guess now we just gotta see if we can pick this up. That was easy. We just beat up Millhouse. Something I've been honestly wanting to do and say for a long time. Is beat up Millhouse. Hey Frank, join me. I don't remember the exact amount of people. Oh God, Lisa. Ah, uh, God, Lisa. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yes, you can, Carl. Unless you can't. Yes, you can. So, we're going to hop. Lisa, get your butt up here. We're going to figure out this is a pretty long level. I don't really see why they got to do some Crash Bandicoot type stuff by, you know, encouraging us to rush through it. Because the levels in this game, I'm just going to quote Simpy here, they are not designed to compensate at all. So, we're just going to. Whoops. 
Oh, good. They're still riding. All right. Oh, good. They're still with us. I almost had a heart attack there. So we're going to go up. Um, pick this up. And then we're going to drop it. Damn. Oh, okay, right, we gotta destroy these. Sorry, I need to think back to playing this. What well, kind of is a pain in the butt here is, um, especially what I've noticed in this game pretty frequently much across all copies except you if you're on a DS or PSP version of this game um is the camera sucks it doesn't like rotate on itself but hey you can't really control it it like controls itself like in Crash to Insanity and in this level like this it's a pain in my, in my ass. It's not even funny. Don't, don't duck, pretty boy. Wow. Um, you did. Don't really understand why it's to, you know, transform like a little orb. Blowback. Explosion. The hell? Did I just... My god. You actually did go there. Oh, yeah, we had to get the two people to destroy that. Sorry, again, I pl haven't played this game since pretty much early July. Yeah. Run, cop, run. Move, Lenny. Lenny, you are MVP. You are MVP, bro. So we're going to hop up. Gonna get up here. See what we can do. Can we just throw some cars around? Let's total with... Um, Oh, wow. We <laughs> one hit KO and Martin Prince. One hit KO and Martin Prince, boy. That was freaking bad. Amazing right here. So, really, right now, just going to drop thing, drop some cars around. Pick them up. Where'd Marge go? I'm really just in the mood to destroy a bunch of crap, so we're just going to drop down here. Um, then we're on the lower floor of downtown. And, um, yeah, more, more crap to destroy. Mob. Minor characters of Simpsons, make some, make yourself useful. <laughs> yes, comic book guy in this game is funny. Yes, waste your youth looking for secret passages in rocky tunnels. In a way, we kind of are. In a really, really weird... Reverend Lovejoy. Get up here. I believe... I think we can have up to about 10 people in our mob. Um, I kind of don't remember. So we got some... I 
again, would be really helpful is um, <clears throat> having a camera you can actually control. But, you know, that moves around with the game, not just does this uh, whatever the heck, you know, following itself whenever it feels like it. Hey, Hey, Clint. Hey, Clancy. Still being the l same lazy, terrible cop as always. Clancy Wiggum. Clancy, Clancy, Clancy. The lovable but kind of dumb clown or cop. As I believe I've kind of put myself in the hole. So as soon as we can look around and find some other crap to destroy. Hey! 2007, the last year we actually had true video games at... You know, weren't giant crap boxes. Okay, that was totally not creepy at all. Damn. Destroy it. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, by the way, Marge can send Maggie into crawl spaces. Which leads you to a pretty cool first-person view of Maggie crawling around. Coupon. Good baby. Okay, now we can destroy that. Now we can destroy that and, you know... Why are Carl and Reverend Lovejoy not... Why are their sticks not on fire? Honestly, you know what I really think about it? If they were to make a movie game, they probably should have... Instead of coming up with, kind of with a completely different storyline... Because I think this game was trying to tie itself into the movie, but totally neglects it and just goes with its own storyline. Kudos to creativity, but personally what I would have done, and this is totally my my preference, is if they were going to make a movie game, do what Heavy Iron did with Spongebob and basically keep it identical to the movie as possible. And I mean as identical, you know, from... Going to Shell City to, I think the monster stuff is kind of added in by itself because I'm not sure how they would animate the Shell City stuff. Well, um, our mob's stuck up there. Marge is a cop. Or cops gonna sh Marge is officially a cop. You can actually command her mob to uh, throw rocks. Which again I find is pretty damn cool. How is my mob gonna get down here? Marge, stop being abused by other kids. Oh, crap. Well, guess he's uh, kind of got himself in the hole. Beat him up. Child, beat, beat up the kids. Beat up the kids. 
We got a lot of kids to beat up. People? We got a cop and a bunch of kids. Basically getting the crap kicked out of... Oh god. Holy oh, crap. This is close. This is close. This is close. This is close. Gotta run for the cops. 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 Thank you, Martin Prince. Thank you, Cop One. Thank you, Cop Two. All right, cop. All right, Marge. <laughs> I'm proximal light. You proximal light. So, I'm guessing while we're here, if we can. F I'm really just going to break barrels and boxes at this point. So, we got a big old block of wood. It's basically a random block of cheese at this point. Okay, Cartman, I will. All right, Cartman. I mean, Marge. I shall respect your authority. So let me pick this up. Drop it here. We find. I'm guessing the other two. Block other two. The other two statues have shapes. Hey, March's mob can throw some rocks. And now they got. Sorry, Mob. Hope you won't be mad at me for doing this. All right, so we're going to break that. Yeah, watch that sound come on the ground. And we are going to... Alright, so... Alright, Marge. I'm not really a fan of Marge on the show, but I do have to say playing as, as her is pretty cool in this game. I'm really not going to lie. Okay. Oh, cool. We can have 10. I guess we can just have as many people as you know we need, need for the mob, which, again, I think is pretty cool they, that they added the whole Pikmin thing. 
All right, Marge. Really? How can I get up on that? Oh, right. Dumbass. And drop that down here. And then move all the way down here and figure out how we're going to stop this. Wow, that is like probably the ultimate gang beat up. Ooh, Marge be getting edgy. Okay, you guys go smash the. Oh, hello. Sudden. So, while we're here, we're going to recruit Snake. You can find a hand of Buddha statue. Fun fact, I actually recently was watching the Simpsons movie, and um, if they kind of step close to the plot for that instead of doing their own thing it actually would have made the game you know really enjoyable for us simpsons fans but i admit the plot for this is pretty cool too um just not my personal cup of tea when i look in a movie game so i'm gonna hop up here well if it'll let the damn thing let me um we got 13 ki people I think we can have basically as many townspeople as we want. Patty, Salma, we need you. So we're gonna run up on uh, this guy. My Thor time. Oh God, Flanders, get back here. We need you. You were a legend. Even though you probably would be driving a Prius in today's Simpsons uh, episodes, because you're that type of guy. God, where are the cops? Beat him. So while we're here, let's get Lisa. She's got a. Okay, all right, let's get a poo back. And uh, see if anybody else is here too that we're missing. We got Lenny. Barney, you can have as many people as we really need. And since we basically have almost no power left, so we can find Lenny. The only problem is having all these people in your party is it lags. This level lags quite a bit. So, instead of eight people waste a bunch of energy on destroying a statue. I have a feeling, now that I really think about it, that this level is kind of based on the plotline of the South Park movie, where, you know, something inappropriate for children comes to town, <clears throat> and kids play it and basically start acting through, their, through what they see. The only difference is there isn't a big musical number.
there isn't a big musical number, which honestly, as a Simpsons fan, if they included something like this in the movie, that would be pretty cool. Die, Clancy. I'm gonna beat up on Clancy Wiggin here. Come on. Come on, oldie. Or, uh... Okay, while you guys do that, I'm gonna go run at more people. So, Mo. Oh! Okay. Itchy just died. Destroyed the town hall. Deliberately. And. The more I really think about it, I know I talked about this uh, earlier. The more I think about it, this level is kind of similar to the plotline of the South Park movie. Um, basically, this could be the, the Grand Theft Scratchy is seems to be equivalent to the Terrence and Philip movie, and um, basically. And Marge Simpson and the mob can be seen against as seen as mothers against Canada, and the kids that were playing it. Only difference is the whole town of Springfield is not forced to burn anything. Grant that scratchy related. Um, in fact, there's basically kids trying to stop this, similar to um, mob resistance in the movie. Da 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 da. Let's uh, hop up here, see what we got to do up here. Damn, Lisa, you fast. Maggie. Alright, all right, Maggie. You're the funnest part of playing Marge in this game, so do your job. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Wee. Why am I talking like a baby? <laughs> There's a gas vent down, gas vent down here. Yeah, if we go through, it's not gonna end well. So we're gonna grab this. Nice thing about this is you can actually look around in uh, in this view. Google, data, data, mama, mama, Lisa. I'm trying to sound like. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to sell like Lisa. So slide down here. Um, <clears throat> oh, just slight blowback. No, oh, I'm ready to receive my bride now. Maybe the dollar sign doesn't fly. So we're gonna I we're sucking. I'm sucking on it. <laughs> it sounds wrong. I know. I'll shut up. I'll just shut up and quit trying. Crawl around this little thing here. I just don't I just love how nobody nobody notices Maggie's crawling around. And 
that soaking wet cooking. A mob of parents. Look, mothers against Canada. <laughs> wow. Not Simpsons aliens. twist. Aliens have come to invade the Simpsons. Okay, that was interesting. So, while we wait for this, while we wait and up, wait here and show off this new episode, which we'll be finding Professor Frank and entering probably the most painstaking challenge of the game is we'll kick some alien dudes. In the meantime, huh. there will probably be some Pixels references next episode, just so you know. Um, the only difference is instead of us finding aliens, we're basically finding video game monsters. That is the next level. 
Then we had to, to go complete. We just killed Lisa. The entire town is basically in darkness. I'm surprised there's not, you know, large waves of people running. You know, for an alien invasion, an invasion um, there's really not a lot of panic. God, the original Tony Soprano. And for aliens, where are your guns? Where are your guns, fam? They give you boards and planks? Aliens? Or are you guys just Antifa members? Maybe... Oh my god. Simpson just predicted another, tr another thing in today's society. Antifa. Look, it's Antifa, everybody. The aliens are all the Antifa thugs, and I'm a guy who supports act, supports Donald Trump. And I'm running from aliens. Anyways, in the meantime, watch if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Simpsons game as there's an as I'm running from alien thugs. Um <clears throat> If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you click that like button, click that subscribe button if you haven't. See if you can get me to 170 subscribers. Follow me on social media. Remember to check this channel off in this week for um, a bunch of YouTube videos coming out and that are being scheduled for this week. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a good afternoon or a good day. And let's just fly. And Bart says, see you next time, chumps.